Hey everyone, what's up? It's Miss Madison Tay, and I'm going to start this video off with saying that I know this background is really boring because it's blue and it's just a wall, you know? And it also has, like, shadows on it. The real reason that I have a wall as a background today is because my bed was just a mess and I didn't feel like picking it up just for a video. And I know that sounds super lazy, but I mean, hey, I'm being real. So today's video is going to be a braces video, well kind of a braces and expander video because a lot of you guys enjoyed um, my video like a couple videos back where I told you that I had braces and today I'm just going to be talking about my expander and braces experience so far and for those of you who are wondering I've had braces for like four and a half months now. I will show you like pictures at the end. They've moved so much you guys. I'll show you pictures at the end. This might be a long video, I'm sorry for that. It's just really gonna be me rambling on about my braces. So if you think that's cool, just keep watching. So as I said, I've had my braces for four and a half months and I actually got my expander on before that. Now before I go on with this, I'm gonna explain what an expander is, if any of you didn't know. If you guys know what that is, just like skip a minute or so, a minute. I don't know, like 30 seconds, I don't know. But basically an expander is just an appliance that they put in the roof of your mouth. Uh, so it goes up here. It has two, what are they called? What are they called? I can't think of the name of them at the moment. They're little metal bands that go around your teeth. Um, I still can't think of what they're called. They're basically, they're just little metal bands that fit around your molars, top molars. My expander is different than a lot of people's. It's just spring loaded. It's just always pushing, which it sounds like it hurts, but it really doesn't hurt. But most people's expander, you have to have a key and you turn it like once a day or something. But mine is just spring loaded and it's always expanding. You don't need to turn it or anything. And it doesn't hurt at all after like the past, the first three days. Yeah, that's basically what it does. It just expands your top jaw because I will show you a picture of how my teeth looked with like three months of my expander somewhere on the screen. I had teeth like way up here and it was not a fun time, but it just expanded my jaw so that those teeth could come down to where they are now. And I still have it in, in case you guys were wondering. So that's what an expander is. Oh, wow. I got my expander last November, like middle to end of November 2016, and I still have it in, and it's the middle of August. So my expander has been in for about 10 months. Yeah, that's fun. That's like the longest I've ever heard of an expander being in, but she's hoping, my dentist is hoping to take it out like the next time I go in, hopefully. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I will show you what my expander looks like. I gotta turn the viewfinder so that I'm not like. I'll show you what it looks like really quick. If you're grossed out by mouths or spit or anything, just skip. That is what my expander looks like. It's really a pain in the butt. I hate it so much. Um, but if you're getting an expander, don't worry, you'll be fine but it's just a pain in the butt, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, and also, you talk like an idiot for like the first week, but then it goes away, you learn how to talk with it, you're fine. <laughs> Why am I like this? So yeah, that's in my mouth, and also braces are in my mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about pain with braces. I already talked about it with my expander, kind of. It's not a huge deal pain-wise with expanders. And then I'll talk about eating in a second with expander and braces, but braces pain, oh. I got my braces on at the end of March, I believe. My teeth were just so bad. I feel like a lot of people, when they get their braces on, wouldn't hurt as much as I did, but holy cow, they hurt for a week straight. I couldn't eat anything for a week straight, and it was like the worst pain. You like set your teeth down to just rest them, and Oh, it hurt so bad. So mostly I just drank smoothies and all that stuff, with the whole, whole, blah, 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 which I'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, the pain was just, I don't even have like words for this, man. It sucked, but I'm, 
most people getting braces, if you're getting braces, please don't be worried. Like, I don't think anyone's teeth can be worse than mine. And the pain goes away in like a week. So, it's okay. But my braces hurt pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie to you. After that, I could eat pretty normal foods. I couldn't eat chips yet, but I could eat pretty normal foods. And then, um, getting my braces tightened, if you don't know what that is, basically they just take the wire out and they put a new one in so that it's tighter and it just keeps moving them. And I get my braces tightened every month about. Every month when I tighten them, they're sore. So I can't eat for usually like four days when I get them tightened. And if it's like, if they put power chains on like this, I can't eat for like a week. <laughs> So, so basically when I got my braces, not only were my teeth sore, which I just talked about, just sore all around, there's also like wires poking you where you're not used to it, even though they're like cut super close to the bracket, there's wires poking you and it just makes your cheeks like raw. It made my cheeks like raw. That's because I didn't use wax a lot and I can't talk about wax in this video because it'll just make it that much longer, but it's just basically it goes over the wire on the back so that it's not rubbing you anymore. So now we're going to talk about eating and drinking and all that related stuff with expanders and braces. So I'm going to talk about the expander first. Eating, <laughs> eating with expanders is really, it was a struggle for me to get used to just because like you can't swallow normal, you can't talk normal in the first few days. Learning how to move your tongue and stuff around it's the weirdest thing ever but you eventually learn to do it and it's fine like food gets caught up in it and it's gross but it's reality you know just if you have an expander like after you eat just like swish your mouth out and it just gets any food that's in there out and it's you're good so eating with braces is definitely a lot more difficult than eating without them obviously because there's metal in your mouth. I try to avoid like biting down on stuff like pizza or something. Normally you would eat it like biting down, but I have to eat it with like a fork and knife. Yes, I'm one of those people. As far as caramel, I just don't go there. Also, I have a tip for you guys. If you're about to get braces or have braces, don't eat white bread. You can eat any other kind of bread. Just don't eat white bread. It just sticks everywhere and it's just the most disgusting thing. At least in my opinion. I'm glad we had that talk. So as far as like candy and stuff goes, I can eat most candy. I definitely break the rules all the time, but I'm careful when I break the rules. If I have apples, I bite it on the side and I'm just careful when I'm chewing it. Definitely don't eat apples whole, you know, for obvious reasons. I can eat pretty much everything. I eat chips and all that. So it's not too bad. That's my expander and braces experience so far. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I don't know if you'll like it or not. If you want like braces hacks or anything, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I would love to do those videos for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also if you want more braces videos because I'll have my braces for a while. So yeah. Oh, also I forgot earlier I promised you guys like progress pictures. So here's the progress pictures. The top picture is when I first got braces and the bottom picture is like now, obviously. Anyways, moving on. I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully pretty soon. And yeah, bye guys.